Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! That was the Church of the Ratchets. That's that what is. That was. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Preachers of LA Season 2, Episode 1. Judge Not, we are back for a new season. We are so happy. The season is going to be so amazing. Amazingly turned up. Oh. Mm. I am your host, Megan Thomas. And who are you? Oh, well, she don't know, but I'm going to let you know. <laughs> Corinne Williams. Holla. <laughs> Corinne. And I am Tiffany Williams. No and relation, no by the way. relation. We're cousins. All relations. <laughs> all relation. We're all related. We're all related. Right. And I'm Lim Gonzalez, and I'm very happy to be here amongst these amazing women that are right next to me. Holla. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Okay, so last season we mm-hmm. left off with um, the very last episode. Dietrich and Dominique got married. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. and they revealed the big secret, which we all kind of knew. The we were, whole season, the whole Fraggers. Yes, Dominique was, that a was pregnant. But, no, I mean, it that was, was a not secret, a secret on the episode, but we were all baby bump watching the whole season. Right, right. and we kept like studying her bump, like, "Ooh, did y'all see she wore this flowy yeah, shirt this exactly. episode?" <laughs> she was uh-huh. looking real pretty that time. Right, uh, ovary hustling. She had was. a pillow over her stomach. <laughs> like we, we were pointing it out. We, we kept knowing that so now this season opens up and we see that Dietrich and Dominique have had their baby beautiful Denver Monroe so cute cute. cute. and now two daughters by the way I um I I interviewed Dietrich for Celebration of Gospel back in March Mm. uh early April and he had his whole whole new choir there leaving league of extraordinary worshipers and he also had dominique who's in the choir right and they had their two kids and so i was like sneak sneaking and looking into ah. the baby carrier she's so pretty Aww. yeah pretty pretty baby she's a good baby though okay. i will say that so of course we have uh my favorite mama mama Faye. i love mama her Faye. she's so crazy she's hilarious she is gangster though <laughs> like i gangsta. like her she keeps it real right she does she, she keeps it real no prisoners no and so and of course, she doesn't care right and she, I was worried a little bit about the interaction she was going to have with Miss oh, me too. Joyce. Yes. What'd y'all think? It was definitely uncomfortable, but like Dietrich set it, her up for it well. She's like, you know, Faye, you're going to have to kick in. Y'all going to have to come together, East Coast, West Coast. Y'all got to <laughs> let it go. <laughs> that was <laughs> hilarious. I wasn't sure that Mama, uh, excuse me, Mama Joyce was going to be able to, uh, you know, like have a cohesive, calm conversation because... You know, when you're a parent, you're serious about yours. Right. So, I don't know. Well, I I, th- I think that, um, I think she grew a lot from the last season. I think at the beginning of the season, she was, you know, very judgmental when she was talking to Diedrich about everything that was going on. But it seemed like progressing into the end of the season, by then she was kind of, you know, fine with everything. She had come to peace with everything. So, I personally thought it was going to be an amicable conversation. I, I think didn't think that was going to be any drama. They yeah. definitely all came to this season. It opened up with them all seeming like they had some new found clarity mm-hmm. right maybe watch themselves last season and saw their faults a little bit mm-hmm. and kind of are mm-hmm. working to remedy it early on this season right well you know what the the secret is the grandkids exactly right. always yeah you up. always and you know i really like dietrich and Dominique's relationship I, like, I do too they're very cute they're like friends like you can tell like they're cool with each other like mm-hmm. they they joke about stuff i think they're cute together they're their friendship. I think so too, but it's always for me, I have to get past Dietrich's shadiness. Like I always feel like Ooh, he's up to clutch. something. <laughs> I cannot just watch him Why? and not feel like he's not scheming. Like you think you he's serious? scheming like all the time? I feel like he's always scheming, unconsciously scheming. Really? Like what give me an example of what that looks like. Just to you. how he always seems to justify his backsliding. I- Okay, so and we'll get into that. Well, yeah, 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 and let the church say, <laughs> oh, yes. you. And we will definitely oh. talk get about that. that. Because he does. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's not that even that he justifies the backside. He's just like Dominique says, he's a very good 
Very good, very, very good um, arguer. Right. Okay. That's I'm good at that. Words. But going back into your point about like the backsliding, I, I definitely think that he has created a coat for himself that is labeled as defensive. Right. And I don't think that he is able to, well, me watching it, my vantage point, I don't think that he's able to see it. You know, he's just like, oh, they're attacking me. Boom, I'm right. back at you. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, right, right. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to talk about that, but let's move on to the men's meeting at Bishop Noel Jones' house. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> okay, first Why? of all, can I just... Okay, y'all are... I know that they are human, you know, pastors, preachers, whatever. You really can't put your ego aside. And then, Pastor Ron, you want to be talking about uh, guns? Really? I can't. I'm tapping he out. He is a gun-toting Ferrari can't. driving OG from Compton. I don't is that, care. But is, there, is that wrong though to, to be packing a gun if you're a if you're I, a pastor? I think I think it's just where he's at. You know, as a man, not just a pastor, but just as a man. Your mental he, he, state, he knows, right? He knows where he comes from. He kind of has that mentality whenever he talks with people. Um, you know, that kind of just, you know, aggressive, very, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get at you before you can get at me type thing. Um, and I think that's just how, how he is as a man. And I think when they come together, that comes out in him very, you know, because he's around men. I don't think he's that way when his wife, when he's with, you know, his lovely wife. Yeah, He's 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 not that way. He doesn't have that. He's very nurturing, I think, as a man, if I could say that. But he's just very much a husband. You know what I'm saying? A right. loving husband. But it's wrong. Around. Is it wrong for him to be told his gun and flashing it like I don't that? Think, do I you don't... need to put it on the coffee table? Though? Come on, well, man. That's... Exactly. <laughs> right now, like, do we really? need to be privy to that fact that you pack in? I, I, me personally, where I go to praise and worship, when I go, I don't want to know that my bishop slash pastor is toting a gun. Like, I, I don't. You know what? I'm not even going to I kind of like the fact that he totes a gun. And I, that wouldn't stop me from going to his church. And the reason I say that is because I, I, I agree with you, Lynn, when you're like, that's just as a man. Mm -hmm. If you take off the title of his mm -hmm. profession, if you take all that off, mm -hmm. he is a dude from Compton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is from the hood. He's right. a crip. <laughs> and the mentality is very like, you know, I got you before you got me. Mm -hmm. We just pack the heat. Right. Yeah, but then on the flip side of that, you know how you operate when you're like 16 and then you go into your 20s, your your mental state operates completely different. Though you're from the hood, do you still have to gravitate back towards that just because you're in a setting with like men who are like tossing their egos around? No, you don't have to go back to, man, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, sit down. Well, I, like, he's you're peaceful. So, right, so I would say. But he's I, old. It's not like he's like 33. <laughs> he's like 108. Like, I can't. Oh, wow. Like, just. <laughs> he got the old flag. Okay, top. you can't have no girl. You got that old flat top. Like, what you gonna do? You can't even draw fast. We know you can't talk to wow. Slow it down, Bishop. Slow it down. I feel like Bishop Gibson does have a quick draw, honey. Girl. I feel like he was like, boom, boom. Oh, I, I think he can you. pull it out when he right. needs to. Okay, right. now, do you, are you saying that he, you don't <laughs> think he should be wear, have brandishing a gun because he's a pastor? Is that what you're saying? Because yes. I mean, okay, what I'm saying is that, okay, it's fine if this is what you do. You know, you want to be toting it, but mm -hmm. I mean, you are, you know, you're this leader of this flock or what have you. Mm -hmm. And I just personally don't think that I want to see my pastor toting that, you know, if I'm at his crib right. or on TV. Like, but you I know, don't. this is the beauty uh, and the nuance of Ron Gibson. Mm -hmm. He ministers to those people. That's mm -hmm. his crowd, the gun toting crowd. And, you know, everyone can't do that, which is why when Thank they were God. having that discussion, he wanted to have a gang summit. Mm -hmm. Dietrich was like okay you have a gang summit I'm not going to get shot right. I'm not, not going to be here <laughs> yeah. that ain't for me, me and, I think, and I think too because that is his ministry he knows the people that he's dealing with right. and that's just where he is because he, he deals with those people he's like well I need to have a gun just in case something pops off because the Holy Spirit might not stop that bullet okay now you know what I'm that's, saying that's like too far like yeah. I no, I think that's just where he's at but again that's where he is and I'm sure the members of his church probably appreciate the fact that he's told a gun well, I mean that's just what it is I mean I, I, don't th I think the Throwing it on the table is a bit much, but I do, I do I, agree I with that. I don't disagree I do agree with him with that. having a gun no, and going no, around. To, he, no. he said, I'm driving a Ferrari and I'm going yeah. through some bad neighborhoods. Right, exactly. You know, I'm dealing with guys. This is what they understand. So right. I do understand you got to meet people where they at. And if sure. that means they tone guns, you tone guns. As long as you're not firing these guns. But right. sometimes it takes somebody to understand like, okay, this dude understands mm -hmm. why I'm in the hood and why I feel the need to tote a gun. Right. Wah, 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 Girl, you have to I meet can. people where they at. Yes, yeah. you do. You but do. He's not rolling through a bad neighborhood from his 
his house to Bishop Noel's well, house. He, well, he did he, say he, he was brought, going. Keep he it was, real. No, he said he, I think he probably went to other places. He probably went to I the hood. I think he, yeah, he did. You know what he I mean? Did. First of all, there. take your Honda to the hood. Don't <laughs> take your little two-seater with your little flat top blowing in the wind. I'm just saying. And then you won't have Man. to tote a gun. Corinne does Bishop? not like Bishop Come on. Gibson. I, 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 I do like I, him. I, I don't know. I, don't I was do. raised in the Church of God in Christ. Uh -huh. So, you know, Come I have that type of. Yeah. But it's just like, uh, okay, flat top. Like, yeah. go on. Uh -huh. See, okay. yeah, I don't think you like it. Because you, you, you call him flat top. I do. I give nicknames. I give nicknames. He's flat top. You don't like him. I give them all nicknames. I, I'm getting that vibe. I too. don't I like that. him, I don't think, but I think that that was just too excessive. You know what I mean? Like you said, you I, are so a man of the cloth. Right. You know, you were supposed to be like mm -hmm. conforming ourselves to be more like Christ, especially mm -hmm. when you're, you know, at this level. Sure. I didn't know that Christ was walking around with an ego and leading the disciples. Right. And I do think okay. that's, that's one of the things I will say about Did this you? this show mm -hmm. that all of them, all of the preachers, you know, you see, you get to see the flaws. Mm -hmm. You get to see that they're not perfect people, but mm -hmm. the one thing they all have in common, they absolutely love God. They mm -hmm. absolutely want to go out here and preach His word and they do it in a different way. They mm -hmm. each have a very, very different ministry. Right, exactly. Compton, Compton so, raise up. You, I don't think we Compton, should. Compton, raise up. We're not going to all agree <laughs> with the right. tactics, but I feel like, look, as long as your heart is in the right place and you are really mm -hmm. trying to do God's work, mm -hmm. that's, that's the purpose. And mm -hmm. if you have to go brandish your gun Mm -hmm. If that's gonna bring somebody to God, then mm -hmm. you better brandish that gun. Brandish your well, gun at the pastor at the bishop's house. Speaking of like. egos, like we saw a lot of those egos flaring up right. at the meeting that they had, right. especially right. between Noel and Ron. Right. Uh, and so Ron, I think Noel was kind of feeling the way that you're feeling, Corinne. Like you, you giving me too much yeah. right now. Right. And, and Ron was kind of coming back at him, like you want me to preach about love. That's not what I do. Like if we're gonna have <laughs> a, 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 a <laughs> summit, like see how contradictory yeah. that yeah. is. It's like oh. that. But actually, and it's funny because. <laughs> Noel Jones said, actually, and I wrote it down, he said he gives back more than Ron. He has more of an ability he to give back more than Ron. So there is a lot of, of that going around. And I think that anytime you bring men of that status, men that also have, you know, mega churches, they all have mega churches. Um, and so coming together to try to find a common goal, it, it it's going to be different. When they said they were going to do that, I immediately knew, like, there's going to be some issues right. because right. they're not only going to agree on what they want to do. And that, and I, I have a question about that because I feel like, the, to me, it seems like there's a, a prideful spirit. Absolutely. That Absolutely. is going on with you these guys. Know, which a carnal. Is, that is completely carnal. opposite. Carnal. You did it fast. <laughs> completely opposite <laughs> of, of Jesus Christ and what these men are preaching about. And the when I saw the interaction between these two gentlemen, mm -hmm. I really felt like, are you guys forgetting the goal here, mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's like, oh, let me show you my stack. Well, let me show you my stack. Yeah. Now let me. That's what. Whose right. whose balls are bigger? That's exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. Right. And Dietrich definitely called him out on that. He's like, you guys are not acting like preachers right now, mm -hmm. right? Because they're one up in each other the whole time. And I will say this: even though Dietrich has, child, he didn't. He he got so many <laughs> issues. <laughs> he be right, right on a lot of stuff. He is right. He is a right. lot of time. Well, I think I he think just can't take it. Yeah, when I people think, give it back to him. Exactly. Right. I think Dietrich. Comes Comes from a a, 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 a a situation where he's grown up in church. He's known church. His parents are pastors. Exactly. His parents are pastors. I know what it's like. My parents are pastors, and he's grown up in a way where things are done that not necessarily Bible. That's not necessarily Scripture. Right. It's just because of tradition and things that people feel. So I think he's grown up in that, and in that, and especially being a gospel artist, being in the public eye for so many years, he's kind of tired of a lot of things that's happened to him. Yes, he's made mistakes. He admits that he's made mistakes. He has these faults. But when he sees these bishops and these pastors going at it then it brings him back to those issues where he's like no this is not how it's supposed to be no, and I think he ends up being a voice of reason in those situations because right. he's, he's the only one that's not currently a pastor but not in his not isn't in his he what? a pastor not at this, a, but he doesn't no. have his own church he doesn't have his own church I, he is a pastor what I was yeah. saying is not in his like he he goes to that level where he sees the, the other bishops mm -hmm. he, he's he's there like that's his house he lives there but you're right he's able to like zap him like hey yo yeah, I think right. I think that's where a lot of the the disagreements and arguments, especially that he has with Ron Gibson. Um, <laughs> you know, we were talking earlier about the special that they had prior when they all oh, met yeah. at the man cave, <laughs> and they went <laughs> at it because you know his whole thing was like, if you live together, that doesn't mean that's a sin. You could be living together and be roommates because of financial reasons. He walked yeah. out. And then Ron Gibson was like, no, that's shacking and that's this, and he's like, well, yes. you're not even doing anything. It's old school. So, if you guys exactly. haven't seen, we're that's talking about example. the, the special that aired right before they show the first episode. If you haven't seen. You can go online and check it out, but it is a special for um, 
for before season two started. And there's a lot of juicy information Isn't and stuff that, that goes in. There's a part one with the men and there's a part two with the ladies. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. Um, so, of course, we see at this outreach that... Uh, Bishop Noel Jones and mm -hmm. Bishop Ron Gibson start going at it. And the issue comes up about who's going to help mm -hmm. put this outreach together and be mm -hmm. the li liaison between the different churches. Right. And of course, Noel Jones says Loretta because that's already what she does in his church. She mm -hmm. does that for him. She is mm -hmm. his liaison person. Mm -hmm. But Ron Gibson has an issue with this. Is Ron right to have an issue with this? No. Yes. No. I, I mean, no. I, I'm yes and no. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Go. I want to hear correct. Go ahead, correct. I mean, okay, yes, from a perspective that though I may not agree with all of his like tactics, his approaches, but I think that he definitely is, the core of him is traditional. Mm -hmm. So I think that is a struggle for him in the new age. And then no, because it's like, God dang, God dang. Like, she's just um, trying to coordinate an event mm -hmm. where, you know, you can reach lost souls or what have you. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. I, I, I think that, no, he doesn't have a right just simply because if this is her job and this is something that he's she does for his church and he has 35,000 members, then she's well qualified to handle what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, yes, I think Ron is more attacking the fact that they're not married. And that's what his argument was. Right. He's like, I don't agree with her doing this because she's not married to you. And I think that's where the problem is, is because she's doing this because this is her job. It has nothing to do with their relationship. That has nothing to do with what he was wanting her to do right but that's where he had the problem and that's why i think that he was at fault but is it really her job though or is she just doing it because she loves the bishop you know what i'm saying well, like e is either she doing way, on the payroll she has jj's bistro she busy no but i'm saying either way that's what she does so mm -hmm. if she's a volunteer at the church because right. there's a ton of people who volunteer at church yeah. if she's a volunteer at the church and that's what she does at the church exactly then why don't you let her do that exactly regardless of what her personal life is right. that's why i had a problem with it because i feel like bishop ron and first lady levette are always putting a nose in people was business. Mm -hmm. They're nosy. Mm -hmm. And yes, okay, so do you guys agree with the fact that Ron does bring the, the topic up of Bishop Noel Jones not being married to Loretta for 16 years. Do you agree with what he's saying, which is you you shouldn't be doing this. As a man of God, as a leader, right, right. leading all these people, you're setting the wrong example. Do you agree with that, Tiffany? I don't have an opinion on it. What? <laughs> she played the fifth. I played the fifth. <laughs> I mean, I don't, listen, I'm like, I think I might be the only non-Christian non on this panel. You know, so like my views on this are completely different. Mm -hmm. You know, I've come from a, a secular point of view and I think it's fine. Um, but I don't feel like it had a place in that conversation. Like, what does this have to do with us putting together an outreach for the people? Mm -hmm. Nothing. At the same time, I respect Ron Gibson for wanting to uphold tradition because a lot of times, as you see, you know, the years progress, we stray from tradition, we stray from values and, and all of that. And so I respect him for wanting to keep the, the pulpit, the preacher's circle, all of that sacred. <laughs> Like I and so I can't fault him for that. For, know, being I mean, I, I do agree with what he's saying, which is, you know, Noel Jones should not be out here with this lady for 16 years. Let's be honest. He's probably having sex with her. Tapping it. It's not. It's not. While it's I'm, not any of our business. <laughs> Happen. While, while it's not any of you our agree? business. You don't agree. What, no, 16, go ahead. 16 years of go friendship. Ahead. Go ahead. I, I mean, no. while it's not any of our business what they're doing behind closed doors. It's mine. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's mine. Look, 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 Lady Lamette. Uh, First Lady Lamette over here. Oh, I have, I have a male perspective. But, but here's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so is it? It's none of our business. I don't think mm -hmm. it's any of our business to to even care or speculate what goes on with mm -hmm. Noel and Loretta behind mm -hmm. closed doors. That's mm -hmm. between them. Only God knows the truth. Them mm -hmm. and God. However, his calling is to lead people. Mm -hmm. You cannot lead people if you are not leading by example. So mm -hmm. if he is having relations with mm -hmm. her, he needs to be honest about that because you're telling people that that's not okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna preach the word, you need to be honest about what's, what's going on in your life. You have to be transparent and you have mm -hmm. to go, you know what? This is what the word says. Mm -hmm. This is not how I'm living. So don't follow me. You need to follow this because I'm struggling with this too. How much more powerful is that mm -hmm. when somebody can humble themselves and say, I have problems with this too. I get you. Mm -hmm. I I need help with this as well. I know what you're going through mm -hmm. versus here go the word. I'm not going to tell you about my personal life, but here go the word. This is what right. you need to follow. That I cannot respect. But does he preach that mm -hmm. like in his sermons and I'm his sure Bible study? I'm like, sure he doesn't he, talk about yeah. his personal I life would, when it comes to if that. If I was shagging in a phone, a cane leading a church, <laughs> hallelujah. Okay. So, <laughs> we ready for the milk? Okay. 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 <laughs> so, first of all, I want to lead with the scripture, and it says that do not let your good be evil spoken of. You better preach. So, 
first of all, I can understand <laughs> the viewpoint of him being the person he is, Bishop, that this looks like it's not good. It looks like he is you know, having relations with her and being with her. She's not married. They've been together. They're they're in some, you know, she believes they're in a relationship. She says they're in a good place or what have you. She obviously loves this man and she would love to be with this man. And I think I don't, I don't like for him the fact that he, you know, if he knowing that about her, that he doesn't either cut ties with her or marry her. Like right. one of the two, like not playing with her emotions or what have you. That's where I have the issue. However, I think that because when you were saying about putting his business out there, the show is putting his business out there. If he didn't want, like if he wanted to put this on, you know, on rap, right. then he wouldn't be showing it in the show. Right. So the fact that it's on there and you can see, everyone can see, the world can see what his relationship is. And this man travels around the world. Do you think that if it damaged his, his reputation that he would do that? My thing is, I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. God is the judge. I personally don't think he's sleeping with her. Mm -hmm. I think she is the friend. He tapping that. that I think she. I think she. This is what I believe. I, <laughs> I believe that he was married before. It, 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 he's not married now. He does not want to be married. He doesn't want to be tied down in a relationship, but he wants a friend and he wants somebody that can be there for him. And that's what Loretta is. Loretta wants to be married. Like keep, let's keep it real. Like she loves him and she would love to be her, his wife, but because of the situation, he doesn't want to do it. And that's where he's at. So well, I think he needs to be honest about that then. But I think that he is, though. What? I think that no, he's because honest. He, because the whole last season, he it was like they were going back and forth. Like, let, let's see, maybe I could be. You know what I'm saying? No, if you know you don't want to be married, you need to be honest and say, I am not going to marry you, Loretta. I will never marry you. I, you need to be that honest with her and let her make the decision to see if she, if she still wants to be around you and still help you with all your stuff, mm -hmm. then that's a decision that you have to let her make. That's my fear. At the same well, time, it seems sorry. like they're at a better place this season. Like, even though she had this line that was very produced like her Hello. I am very happy with him <laughs> <laughs> and like, insert smile insert the smile -wise, right. but I mean they seem to be ha have moved past that little rough patch that they mm -hmm. were experiencing and maybe even t I think yeah, they were having pressure from the show and from the other ladies oh, to, mm -hmm. to fit this mold that they seem like they've moved past now no, please. and so <laughs> no, she's not buying it I just okay first of all like my real opinion about it is maybe they did have some things going on you know a few years ago Mm -hmm. And now, you know, the show came up. We need JJ's B show to be popping because I need my money back. Um, so I'm going to put her on the show. She's going to be this controversial character. Like, let's think about it from that perspective. You think that all that happened, like, contrived that way? Well, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. They probably used to, he used to tap it. And then they moved wow. out of that. Okay. She probably I, got serious with somebody else. Oh, and he's like, well, he's that's so fine. Oh, yeah. making all type of stories. I know. Up. Like, that Cringe. doesn't even. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> right. Stop. You're not rebuke. <laughs> I'm right just now. saying, this is my opinion, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so of course we see also at the end of the men's meeting, Jay Hayslip, Pastor Jay Hayslip, who's my favorite pastor, by the way. Likewise. He's dope. Love He's dope. used to be mine He's until dope. this, this, this um, episode. Oh, let's no. Okay, oh. so yes. of course Jay comes up to, um, <laughs> he comes up to Dietrich because he, he talked with his wife about feeling some kind of way mm -hmm. about Dietrich not telling him that they were pregnant before he married them. Mm -hmm. Should is he correct in feeling that way and should he have approached Dietrich? Lim, go. Okay, so <laughs> I do think because of their relationship, them being friends, especially because of their relationship, not just because, but especially because of their relationship, I think Dietrich should have said something to Jay. Not that and I don't think Pastor Jay would have not done the ceremony. Correct. I think that he should have been like, you know, hey, because it was like a last minute thing. Noel Jones was supposed to marry them. Pastor Jay had to marry them. You got to understand the situation. I don't know if Dietrich told Noel Jones. I don't know. Noel Jones might have known. And he did have that discussion. We don't know. That was never brought up. But Jay filled in, you know, at the last minute. But again, I think he still could have said, hey, let me let you know. She's pregnant again. I just want you to know that so you don't feel some kind of way. Is that, you know, are you fine with that or whatever? He did not. I don't think he was thinking that it was going to, you know, offend him or make him look bad. I don't think he was thinking being malicious or trying to be sneaky. I wonder personally. why. So, <laughs> but I think that he should have, as a man of God and as a friend of his, should have told him. And I right. think Jay was was right in, in talking to him as a friend. Like, yo, we're boys. We're good people. Like, you could have told me because my reputation's on the line by doing that.
That's I would have felt really slighted if I had watched the episode like Jay did and found mm -hmm. out that right. they were pregnant and mm -hmm. I performed this, you mm -hmm. know, the cer sacred ceremony mm -hmm. on the spot. I mean, I, I appreciate the way that he approached him. Yeah, he absolutely. pulled him aside. He didn't call him out. Right. You know, it's very diplomatic. And mm -hmm. I, I like that about it. My only issue was they have this budding relationship, correct? Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I get it for, you know, the sake of a storyline, but if this was something that really, really bothered you and you took huge issue with, then why did you have to wait, like, so-and-so months to, like, pull us cult tell about it? Because like, it was something that he probably didn't want to have the conversation, but like he said, he said it was burning inside of him. Right. Yeah, so it got to the point, point where he felt like he needed like, to say something. If this is... For me, like if, if, and I know that you have to do things, you know, for the sake of the camera, but I feel like they could have hosted a conversation like prior to this. You know what prior I'm saying? Prior to what? Prior to, prior to. To the show? Yes. But and then you could have went lives. and talked about it. Oh, girl, please. If that, he's like, oh, I thought we were friends. Like if, you, if you're legitimately, like, legitimately my friend. Then I'm gonna be able to pick up the phone and call. He's so non-confrontational, though. Right. You can right. even well, tell with even problem. how he was right. dealing with his wife that he didn't really want to mm -hmm. broach the subject because it's awkward. Exactly. You know? right. I just think that if you, as a friend, you should have. I, I think Deja should have been honest with him and mm -hmm. said, yeah. "Hey, just so you know, exactly." Dominique and I are pregnant. Yeah. But he doesn't see any wrong in his way. And that is the problem that I have with Dietrich because exactly. he is not. He does not humble himself and exactly. go. You know what? You're right. Right. I was messing up your mm -hmm. reputation. Mm -hmm. I'm over here making you look bad as mm -hmm. a pastor mm -hmm. who I had no regard for how you felt about this situation, about right. the profession that we both share. Mm -hmm. I had no regard for that. And I just said, hey, right. I kind of hoodwinked you into doing this. Mm -hmm. And again, I do think that Pastor Hayslip would have still married Dietrich and exactly. had Dietrich told him, hey, we're, we're pregnant. It's absolutely. But the problem is you got to let pe you got to give people all the information mm -hmm. and let them make the choice based on all of the information. You mm -hmm. cannot give them a piece of the information and be right. like, there you go. Base your decision on that right. and, because that's not fair right. I, and that's and not I, honest and it's not true. And I think, too, I think Dietrich was so caught up in the fact like he was getting married, like I'm making it right. Yeah, I sin, but I'm making it right. So don't bring that sin up again. And I think he took offense because Jay was kind of like, yo, you were pregnant when I was marrying you. My reputation. He's like, yo, you judging me? You know, but that was his thing. Oh, you're judging me. Are you perfect? Did you sleep with your wife before you no, got right. married? But taking it a step further, I also think like from Dietrich's standpoint, it's that we were already married, you know, because they had that little private ceremony. So when he asked him, you know, oh, the, granted, the she was already preggers boots. But, right. you know, I... Uh, but he should. But then he should have said that instead exactly. of being confrontational about exactly. it and being like, "Well, did you sleep with your wife?" Like right. nobody was calling the man out. He wasn't no. saying, "Look, you know, God doesn't love you because you done right. got your your girl, right. your wife pregnant right. before you got." He wasn't saying that. Jay was simply saying, "You should have had enough respect to for me, me to tell me that." Exactly. And then he could have said, "You're right," but guess what? We was already married. Mm -hmm. We technically was already married, mm -hmm. so that's why I didn't feel the need to tell you. Right. And that everything would have been fine. I think. But so. I just felt like the way he walked away from him when he asked him if he slept with his <laughs> wife was, was so rude. And yeah. So disrespectful, so and I would have threw a rock at Dietrich's <laughs> back. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. But but you know, know. Megan, I, that <laughs> wow. is not Christ like. Wow. It's sure, wow. it's, it's wow. it's sure but the way that right. Dietrich carried mm. on just shows that he has been hurt. And right. he's been stabbed so many times that he's immediately on the defense. Like, you can't even attempt to judge him without right. him shutting you down. That's has, my point he's, earlier. He's like, he, he's wounded. every time he's wounded. someone brings up something, like, he, that's his coat. Right. Just because he's made these choices, you know, mm -hmm. to step out on his wife or, you know, whatever the situation was. You, you got to understand, too, like, when he was he was a pastor of a church and he was asked to step down because of of his of his Divorce, situation yeah. yeah so it's like that's huge for a pastor like that's the same as like the president you know being peached and being impeached. impeached so it's like it's a blow to who you are especially as a man of god because it discredits your character it's embarrassing like it's all of that so i think taking that i think he still has a lot of wounds from the things that that happening and the other things that's happened being talked about you know in the media by church people like church people can really get down. Right. Well, let me tell you what Donnie McClurkin said. We fall down, <laughs> but we get up. Okay, go on. And we go can on. also get up on <laughs> iTunes, right, Tiffany? That's right. Be sure to rate, subscribe, download so that we can keep bringing you great content every day, every week. 
That was nice, girl. Yes. Yes. Let us know what you think. We love your comments, and we might actually read some on the show. So make sure you uh, comment. And so next, we moved on to the sip and see, honey. It wasn't really no sipping going on. It was very mild. Nobody was drinking anything. Nobody <laughs> no was drinking anything. anything. At the sip and see in the South, sip and see is basically when you have kind of like a baby shower after the baby comes. So this is or, a real thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I'm what happens? According to Phaedra Parks. Yes. Yeah. Technically, you're just supposed to sit the baby out in the middle. No one touches the baby because they're brand new. They're fresh. You don't uh -huh. want to get germs on them. And you sip, you drink. It's a little party and you just oh, okay. look at the baby. You don't touch them. But they huh. really weren't sipping I thought sipping Phaedra made that up. But no, I've, I've heard of that It's before. definitely I've a Southern thing. But this was Atlanta. nothing yeah. like a housewife sip and see no, at it was, all. It's quite it, except it was, a, it was a little controversial with the ladies' <laughs> chalk. But let's let's get into that for in a, later on. First, we see <laughs> that Christy Hayslip does not show up. Mm -hmm. Should she have shown up, Tiffany? I don't think so. I okay. mean, if she wasn't a, if she wasn't a church wife then she should have showed up. But in this case, she had to back her man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate her, you know, taking a noble stance and, and wanting to stay out of that drama. Right. So totally on board with the, the hay slips every time. You know, <laughs> stand by your man. Stand, stand by you, your man. You the bills. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be there, especially right. after everything that's happened, because you know it's going to come up in situation and then it's going to become an argument. So why go through that? I would have. I would have talked. If I was her, I probably would have talked to my husband first and said, what do you think? Do you feel talk to, would wait, you, you talk. if I was Chrissy Hayslip, I would have asked Jay, like, do you how do you feel? Do you feel weird about me going over there? Because if you well, do, they did didn't talk she? about no, no, what I'm no, saying, not well, really. yeah, that's what I'm she saying. Just I, was like, I'm she was going. just like, I'm not going, right? Right, right. <laughs> I would have asked him, like, how do you feel about me going? Is it weird for you? Because if it's weird, then I definitely won't go. Mm -hmm. But if he was like, no, I'll go, like, it's no big deal, which he probably would have said, I think it would have been okay for her to go. I think so because too. it's not a it's not a beef, it's not East West Coast beef like that, right? Well, no, but I mean, it's just a feeling of being uncomfortable. I don't, yeah, I think you're right. I think she could have went and probably would have had a good time, but I think she felt uncomfortable she because know what of she what was happened. Into. Exactly, but that's, but that's why you don't just allow discomfort to ruin your life. Like you have to face it. Face it. Face yeah, it. But face also, it and say, okay, well, this is weird. Let me go talk to her about it and make sure she knows. Look. Our husbands might have some disagreements, but I still love you. I'm still here for you. Like, if you need me to, if you need me to come watch the baby, like, right. I'm here for you. <laughs> but the one thing that I appreciate she did is she did call her. She, right. right. She, she did. called yeah. and said that she wasn't going to be there yeah. right. because of what happened. So right. I appreciate that. Yeah. So she classy. did just not show up. Yeah. 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 She didn't send no text, no yeah. email. No, she called her. <laughs> voice to voice. She called her. Right. Call okay. Her. So then we also see that Lady LaVette, um, oh. it, she also shows up. And uh. Dominique uh. makes her the godmother. Which was kind of like not. She didn't think that through. No, she she didn't like, oh, here, take at the baby. all. No, she didn't think that I at all. That would be the nice. It was a nice I gesture. I thought it was so she, nice. She like I just think, thought of it. Like, and she's like, you, you want me? You want yeah, to? No, you want to do this? No, no. <laughs> I, I think it was very rushed. I think she felt bad because she doesn't have any children. And I think, I, I understand it was a good gesture, but at the same time, you didn't discuss it with her husband. That's true. She didn't like, it's just not a good look. But maybe they did. Like, no, they off did not. camera. Yeah, <laughs> they did not. Lim, no, they did not. Lim, Lim, you don't was know. Lim, Lim was there. <laughs> sip no, and see. No, I know. They did not. It was <laughs> but I was was very surprised to learn that they, uh, Lady Lavette and uh, Bishop Ron, mm -hmm. did not have children. You didn't know that from last season? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's probably why they nosy. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. exactly, that is that's exactly right. why. I'm not trying to be they mean, old but old when you don't have nothing else yeah. to do, that's what old people do. Yeah, they get in other people's business. Old people stay young. Like, right, right, right. So, of course, hey, we see that, uh, of course, Loretta is the last one to arrive. And her all white. Yes, she is turned up to the max. She's <laughs> taking her, all of her frustrations out on Lady LeVette. She came for blood. She, she came did. With that was wrong. Sharp. But she, the, like, in the scenes before that, she was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to have her have a piece of my mind mm -hmm. like she knew what she was so doing you're saying when she, she came was ready. in there she was yeah ready. she so said rude. it yeah. that's so rude and disrespectful it's tacky because this woman had nothing to say about you if her husband had a problem if, if Bishop Ron had a problem with you you should go to him and say something to him don't mm -hmm. sit here and get, make his wife the face of him mm -hmm. just because they're married that's not fair do you guys notice mm -hmm. how each of the men prepare these women to deal with the women. Uh -huh, they like uh -huh, say, okay, uh -huh. when you go in there, uh -huh. don't let them drag you into a fight. Like That's they right. pump each other right. up. Teamwork make the dream work. It's crazy. <laughs> like, you got to you got to prepare your team member. That's what a quarterback does, right? Well, That's I, exactly I, yeah. what it looks like. I think like. with Loretta though, I think I'm not saying that she was right in, in firing on you know Lavette. I think you know she is nosy, and I think this is just <laughs> pent up. 
you know, I yeah. think this is from everything last she's dealt season. with before. Yeah, last season, everything last in between, season. probably what she's heard from other people, you know, in the congregation. Because you got to think, she's in this church. They, everybody sees what's going on now because right. they watch the show from the church. So she's probably getting dirty looks. Mm -hmm. Like, who knows what's going on? So she, yeah, she takes it on to her. Not saying that that's right, but... I mean, she just is frustrated. She's frustrated because she has to defend her relationship with her friend. And Lady Lavette notoriously backed her into a corner last season. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you need you can do better than that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to wait too long. Don't settle. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't love you, move on. You're a girl mm -hmm. by it. I can't. So she was ready. No She's ready this season. And I, I thought the timing was a little off. You didn't got to do that at the little baby shower. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> Y'all, I forgot it was a sip and see. Y'all forgot it right. the baby. Nobody was and then, drinking anything. And Dominique <laughs> is sitting here with the baby. Her eyes all bug like, yeah. 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 Hey, wow. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I completely forgot. So then, of course, we see, I kind of feel like Loretta did what Dietrich did. And that is when you're faced with something, when you're faced with something that you're doing negatively which is why i do think mm -hmm. her and noel are having relations Ooh. is her reaction mm -hmm. because if you have nothing to be guilty of then you don't you're like you're not i don't have you're like not def she's so defensive and the first thing that she says this is what defensive people always say no one's perfect <laughs> that's what she says and she says yeah if you are, you can cast a stone. That's like, that is literally the defense right. when you know so you've you done think, wrong. So you think that I, because the reason why she's being defensive is because she is having relations with Mr. Because Trump. she definitely is. And, and my whole thing is this. Be honest no. about it. Loretta, go like this and say, you know what? What I do with him behind closed doors is my own business. If you want to call me a harlot, if you want to call me a whore, if you want to sit here and say all these horrible things about me, that's fine. That is your opinion. And you are more than welcome to do that. That's free will. However, what I do with him behind closed doors is what I do with him. That is no one's business. So if she is not okay with that, she needs to express that and say that instead of going, nobody's perfect. What does nobody's perfect mean? And that means you back your happy relations no. with your man. No, no. I don't right. think that. She told everybody she guilty. I'm guilty. No. That's what she, and that's not no. your business. <laughs> I think that she's saying, like, get out my damn business. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you didn't have real. no business right. to talk about... Mm. But it doesn't, mm. you know how sometimes like people mm. will push and push and push you like, oh, are you mad? Are you mad? And you're not. You're just like, oh, I'm just not smiling. Or, mm. you know, whatever the case is. And then you're just like, the F. Like, right. it, it makes you go there. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what the, the what she's taking on. Like, dang, everybody want to know what's up. I already tried to be nice and mm -hmm. tell y'all hat wearing mm -hmm. women, you know, what the deal was. Mm -hmm. And now y'all want to come back? Oh, okay, I got you. Wait for I, I, two. I think that a lot of it, too, is I think that that's a great point, Corinne. I think also is that what I said before, I think she does want to be in a relationship with him. Like oh, she wants to be married right. to him. She wants to be married to him. So I think a lot of that is her frustrations with her not being able to be a wife. You but know that, what I'm saying? But, but that's misguided and it's sad. I'm, right. It is sad. It is sad. <laughs> but I disagree with the fact that she's guilty up. of having sexual relations no, no, with no, him. No, no, that's I'm, what you're saying. I am saying that because, yeah. like because here's the Monica thing. Yeah. Because she is. And his, his, I'm just saying, you want to be in the relationship with this man. You love this man. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. But that's the way. If that's all it is, then that's all you have to say. But if but you that, constantly but she, get but berated, like I said, but you don't know getting, how, where she's getting this from. Okay, she's getting I'm it saying, from a whole lot of people. If she's getting berated for something that is not true, all you have to do is say, that's not true. She's never once said that. But they never said that she was having sex with him. Okay, but that didn't come up. So okay, there was much to say but, not but true too. But for her to keep going, um, you you talking about nobody. You know, she said no one is perfect, and she mm -hmm. said, you know, talking about casting the stone. Mm -hmm. If anybody here has hasn't done anything wrong, right. then do that. And then of course, Lady Lavette comes back with her. <laughs> <laughs> As she always does with an old oh, school scripture, right. Proverbs six twenty seven. She yeah. said, basically, this is what the scripture says: Can a man mm -hmm. take fire in his bosom and his clothes right. not be burned? A easier understanding. NLT says, can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not mm -hmm. have his clothes catch on fire? Right. Basically, what she's saying, what Lady <laughs> Lavette was saying she is... She her a shady palm what, tree. Right. She basically was saying what her husband, how her husband felt about the situation is, this man is a is a man of God. He's a preacher. Mm -hmm. He's over here playing with fire. I mean, he's over here messing with this woman's feelings. Mm -hmm. He's probably having sex with her. He's around her all the time. They spend the nights together. They, they take over each other's house all the time. How do you expect to do that and then not touch her? 
Like you playing with fire, you gonna get burnt. So that's what Lady Lavette was se- telling to her, mm-hmm. and that's why she went off. But I'm not. But I don't think she meant it in the sense that she's that he's having sex. I think it was everything but because to me, I interpret the scripture as you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Like if you keep spending time with this lady, you keep put, you know having dates, you keep meeting up, then you are going to have sex because well, what you're you feeling about sixteen. But, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm holding listen, hands. Listen, listen. You're having dinner. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> JJ's bistro. <laughs> yes, Look, out of late uh, nights at the house. See, I can. Okay, as a man, sixteen I, years, Lamb. Sixteen years. As a, as a man. And, uh, no, no, uh, not uh, even uh, as a man. Six, as a man who was previously married, mm-hmm, sixteen mm-hmm. years. You gonna play house with this woman, do all this stuff, and never touch her physically in a sexual sense? Okay, first of all, I'm not Bishop Jones, so I can't <laughs> speak about that. I can speak about myself. Would I do that? No, I would not. <laughs> Because the jump off is happening. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But that's I'm not. I, you gotta I, be but, real but, about but that. I know, but I'm saying that's me. That's what I wouldn't do but that I, because I know me. Right. But this is, I'm not him. And I'm saying it's, I'm not, again, I'm not defending saying that he's right to be doing this. I already said that. All I'm saying is I just don't think that they're having sexual relations. That's Anymore. all I'm saying. Right now. <laughs> I mean, is it like a a medical thing? Because I can see that, you know, just like because it can't happen. Because and and the reason why and the reason why I say that this is the reason why I say that because because he's a man of God. I believe with all of my heart. I don't know him personally, but I believe as a man of God that he wouldn't put himself in that situation and be a pastor of all these people preaching the word like he is. That's that's my personal opinion. That's very trusting of you. However, men preachers preachers make mistakes like. They, they, all they, the time. Look at Bishop Eddie Long. All the time. Eddie Long, all like, the time. All, all, no, all of them. Preachers may, I'm saying they're human. They are human, but I really don't. Okay, this is, I'll say it better. I don't think he would risk his ministry for the sake of this woman. Like, having, you know what I'm saying? Like, it getting out. Because again, let's keep it real. This is a show that he volunteered to do that he's putting his business out there. So my thing is, if he was really trying to hide something and he was having sexual life, then he wouldn't have her on the show. Okay, oh, well, please. the only reason why I don't agree with you is because he does have a child and he does have a child out of wedlock yeah, and the girl is on, like I'm five or six. She's a little girl. So Ooh, Bishop Jones does? Yes, yes, he does. He does have a daughter. What? And they're having yes. your and so, and so that's, right that's right the now. only reason why I don't agree with you. This man has gone You're 15 like years without now. having wait, sex. Wait, wait, hold on. There is no Santa Claus. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you. And there have been rumors about him countless with. I mean, and those are rumors, but this child is his child. Wait, she has so his he last has, name. Wait, hold on, time has, out, she's time like, out. she's little. She's a little girl. She's like, you know, little, little, like five. Really? So, somewhere, yeah. So that's why I'm like, I'm I don't sorry. believe you. And I'm gonna hug it out as the baby with the lady from the X Factor, Stacy, whatever. But anyways, keep going. All right. So yeah, it's I mean, not common. He yes. smashed. Oh, God. Okay. He's smashing. He smashed and he's the whole thing. So, and that's why I'm saying he has to be <laughs> honest about this. If you are going to oh. be and put your life in, on a pedestal and put your life as an example to <laughs> other people, oh. you have to be truthful about your example. You have this courage every time. I'm just saying. He just said he got a tear in the left eye. Oh, duck it. Lord Jesus. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe Bishop Jones ain't having sex no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know, I said they stop. Th- Stop. For I'm a done. second. I'm done. What? I'm done. We need to get out this man's sex life. We yeah. do, though. We do. We but, need to start working. Speaking about of uh, Jones, he's looking kind of cute this season. By the way, I have a <laughs> really? like, major crush on him. Oh, Don't really? look at me like that. Why everybody get he's quiet? He's cat. <laughs> he's kind of cat. Yeah, thanks, so. uh-huh. Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, we he stay look, silent on he that He does one. look a lot healthier, though. He does, yeah. Like, last season, he was definitely battling a lot of illnesses, had, like, some sort of heart situation right. going on, mm-hmm. and, like, this season, he he's upbeat, he looks healthy. Well rested. He had some, a little more weight on him. Is it because of That's no sex been, or more sex? Because he's been getting it <laughs> <in. laughs> <laughs> like, look, Liv. Oh, definitely more sex. My feelings are hurting. I've already been getting it in. We just stole Christmas from this <laughs> man over we here. We did. All right, All let's right. head over on, on over to predictions for next week. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. All right. I'm going to start to my right with the beautiful Corinne. What do you think is going to happen next week? Um, or overall this season? I just want Jay and Diedrich to make up. So that's just what I have on my plate. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping that we see a little bit more of McClendon. He wasn't in this episode oh, man, really for like two him. seconds. Yeah. So I'm hoping that we get more right. of him. Can we talk about that one second? Please. Why yes. is he on the show? Thank you. Because he's cat. 
<laughs> I, I, I told Walker? you, we talked about this. Please. I think he's on the show because I think initially when he agreed to do the show, I think he was very much thought this was something that was going to put him in the stratosphere type situation. And I think that it backfired because I think it put him in a bad light. So I think he's shying away from, no. from being on the show. What I think is that he thought he was going to be the top dog. And mm -hmm. then he quickly found out real fast through uh, via Dietrich, like, oh, I guess not. Okay. I just Bye. think he's boring because he works all the time. Like, he doesn't have time for drama. And he has and a glass of water curl. Like, I can't. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let your soul. Yeah, oh, yes. Hello. We can't that's be talking natural. about that's, that's natural. That's natural. Okay. Well, that's just who I am. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I'm not a super Christian. I go right. to church sometimes. Right. Like, We're going to have a prayer meeting right after the show. <laughs> right. We definitely right after. Yeah. All right. Love your predictions. <laughs> Um, okay, so I, I do think we're going to, in this next episode, I think we're going to see more of McClendon just because he was so far you know, removed. Oh. Um, but I think that there's going to be um, another battle with um, Ron and um, all the rest of them. Like I think he's, I think he's gonna be, if you want to call it, I think he's gonna be the villain of this season. Oh, I'm, he's I'm giving kind of a this season. Yeah, so I think he's definitely, you know, he's gonna rub everybody at one point in time, everybody on the show the wrong way. Okay. Aww. Um, uh, my prediction is for the Cheneys. I think um mm -hmm. we're gonna see a little bit more of some issues that they might be having mm -hmm. within their family and their relationship because now mm -hmm. that she's. Uh, First Lady Maisha is, is the what a, the co-pastor, co yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. command, and she's working on that album. Yeah. She's and working stuff. on the album. Yeah. She's got the kids. I think mm -hmm. it's going to cause a little friction in their marriage. So I kind of want to see that aspect and mm. see how it's affecting them. Okay. Mm. Let us know what you think. Make sure you mm. go to YouTube and iTunes, subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. Where can they find you guys? Oh. Not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the end. Uh, so you can find me at the Poet Saint, and that's on Twitter and Instagram all day, every day. I am on Instagram at Roving Realist. Oh, and I am on Twitter at Just Saying 08 and Instagram Just Saying 1908. Holla. And as always, you can find me, Megan Thomas, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Meg Scoop, Meg like Scoop. scoop of ice cream. Until next week, we'll see you later. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.